Hey, I've got some beautiful, cool silks to show you, some unique bags, and some skirts. Hi, I'm Cadence Kidwell. The Pride is here at Fuzzy Goat in downtown Thomasville, Georgia. You can see all that I'm talking about at fuzzygoatyarns.com. And let's talk about our restock of Farmer's Daughter Fibers Foxy Lady. Oh my gosh, I have two yarns to show you today. Both of these yarns are really doing their part in making the world better. And when you make buy them and make them yourself you're doing your part too to make the world better so this has 30 percent silk in it and we have lots of samples in this yarn candace of farmer's daughter fibers started sisters united in 2018 and that's a program dedicated to healing indigenous women children and families so we love supporting farmer's daughter fibers and candace's uh, projects so, uh, one of them that I'm super excited to have because we get asked about this sample more than any other. This is cherries. It is crochet. If you haven't crocheted, um, this would be a good second project once you get the stitches down. It's really pretty easy and it's very addictive because you just, you know, you want to see the next row of flowers. And we have this exact color in stock right now. This color is Kinnikinnik, and this yarn has the 30% silk, so it just feels really great. And I, we get asked about this a lot, so we're glad to have this color back in stock. I'm wearing Jennifer Steinglass's Norwood sweater, which is also made in Farmer's Daughter Fibers Foxy Lady. I love a 30% silk for the drape and also uh, because it can be warm here, right? I mean, it's warm everywhere right now. But, um, and so you can make a sweater like mine using uh, PBR, this blue color. And this one here is Spring Fever. And this isn't exactly white. It is an ivory with little, little bits of color in it. So those two would look really good. But maybe you don't want to do a sweater, but you still want to do two colors. This is a brand new pattern that is in the hot right now on Ravelry, Alicia. And we'll have the link up with these yarns. And look how pretty that would be. That would be really pretty in these two colors. But it would also, I'm just loving this color too. This one's really pretty. This one's Bad Rock. And Bad Rock would also go great with Spring Fever. Um, it would also be really great with this in a jam here. You could put those two together. Maybe you just want one skein and you want to see what you could do with one skein of this. I This is one of those rare times that I use the exact same color again. Uh, this is also PBR and this is Kitman Figaro's Sprout Shawl. Her patterns are always unique in that you start down, they are bottom up. You start down here and then it gets smaller as you go. And so this is one skein of PBR. And the only thing I would do different with this shawl, next time I make it, if I do make it again, I would probably go down needle size. I did this when I'm knitting Continental and my gauge is a little looser that way. And I think my, uh, I'm happy with how my lace shows up, but I think my sprouts might show up better if they were, if it was a tighter gauge. That's the only thing. But one skein did that one color. Um, I love, if you like charts, I love a chart. The color works a chart too. Uh, Kitman Figaro patterns are just really fun. Okay, so another two color pattern is my friend Sarah Keller's Route One. So we were putting two colors together. I think, um, and this is like a, a long rectangular one. I really like wearing ones like that. You can wear it like that. You can kind of wrap it up like a scarf. And so let's see what other two colors. This one here is Heartbreak Hotel, and it would be really pretty with Fugitive. That would be a really stunning combination. If you wanted something a little more earthy, you could use Flower Power, which is a really great rust, which we love, love, love around here. And you could put that with um, Spring Fever. And I didn't bring over Cowboy Country, but Cowboy Country is also really similar to that. Or you could do something like, are you sure Hank done it that way? Look at that, a little bit of green in it with Kinnikinnik and put those together. Um, 
all of this just feels really good. And we do have some solids too. So the solids, like if you want to do um, the sprout or the, the sweater that I'm wearing, ranch, ranch romance, that's hard to say. Uh, PDR, those two go really good together. Um, I showed you uh, Heartbreak Hotel, which is not a solid, but that would go really great together if you wanted to do some sort of a fade like that. Oh, they just, this is little basket just feels really great. I would actually put these two together. We've also got, I'm jumping ahead away from the yarns for just a second because we got a whole bunch of new skirts. That's what's hanging here right over me. These are made by uh, D, designed and uh, the fabric is sourced and all by D in Tallahassee. And I was thinking, oh, we've had several people match their yarn to a new skirt. This, and each one we get one at a time. Sometimes we might get it again, but very rarely. So this one is the Sea Maidens. And I just think this particular one goes really great with In A Jam. So you could make a fun uh, sweater like this one. This is actually a long sleeve sweater, but uh, Jennifer had um, a few people make it in a short sleeve. And so I did it in a short sleeve. So it's really fun to match the yarn. So I think In A Jam would go really great with this particular Sea Maiden skirt. I'll show you some more skirts in a minute, but let me show you some new yarns too. Another new yarn. This is from Hand Spun Hope, and it's not just new to our shop, it's new to the world. This is a brand new one. Um, we've had it just a, a week or so, and this is from Hand Spun Hope, and they support the women in an African community, and the purchase of this yarn helps them learn earn a living wage. And it also teaches low-impact farming and save the Madagascar forests. Um, it's just a beautiful incentive all the way around. This is a 100% silk. It's a raw silk. So uh, different than, uh, different in lots of ways, different than the far farmer's daughter, which is 30% uh, silk and has that, that shine that you might associate with silk. This is a raw silk and it's a little bit thick and thin also. So we're calling it a sport, but you could probably also use it as a fingering. And it is dyed with the uh, uh, natural elements. So this one here is imagano. This one here is natural. So this is the silk and the way it comes out. This got a couple in here I'm really eyeing. This is matter root, which is really beautiful blush color. And then this one here just is luminous. This is Cosmos. This one's topiary, has just the slightest shade of green to it. And this one is onion skin. So it doesn't have the wide variety of blues and, and all of those because they're using the natural um, elements that they can have nearby and do in sustainable farming. But I think these together would make a beautiful striped tea. I've been looking at this Dingley Dell um, because I'm having a hard time choosing just which ones. So I'm thinking I might stripe it into a Dingley Dell and have it in that raw silk. I think it would just be really yummy. Um, but maybe there is one color that really floats your boat. And I think you could make Hokie's staple linen top with that. It's got just a little bit of lace detail there. This one is in black, so it's harder to show up on the screen, but the lace detail uh, goes all the way down there. And I think that would be real. And then you could wear it as a vest once the weather changes. We're very optimistic that one day the weather might get cooler. I don't know when. But Yumi, which is Y-U-M-E, which is an Isabel Kramer, and she has a, a long sleeve version and a short sleeve version, would also be great in a single color. But you could also stripe it. So I might actually do this top. I love a good Isabel Kramer, though Dingley Dell is also Isabel Kramer, and, and stripe it in that. In fact, one of the things I like about the Dingley Dell, I like a V-neck, and look at that V-neck detail in there with the other little bit of color in it. I think that's a lot of fun. 
And what else have I got over here? Okay, one more garment, and then I'll show you a uh, an accessory that you can make with that. So this is the licorice twist vest. This is the vest that we are obsessed with right now. We have uh, it's single handedly responsible for our very uh, full DK section, DK and I'm sorry, sport section, sport and DK shared a cabinet. There was not much silk, so DK got the run of the cabinet, and now. Um, now it has um, to share with sport. And Reed is asking if raw silk is stretchy. It is not, it, it is not, it is not stretchy. It's, think of it more as like a cotton in the way that it acts like that. Um, but really cool feeling, which you can really put to the test right now. So I think this licorice twist vest would also be great in this as well. And then I also found a uh, cowl pattern with this lace in here. I think this would be really pretty with that thick and thin. And this is a cowl though, it looks like a shawl, which I also like because I can be very um, clumsy and my things fall and all that. And I like this because it stays on and in the position that you want it in. So this is the Novena cowl, which would be great in any of our sport yarns, but especially this hand spun hope. Oh. So those are the yarns that I have to show you right now. But then we've also gotten some other fun arrivals. We have a restock of our uh, Liberty hankies. So I'll show you the different colors. I have one in my pocket right now, as I always do, kind of match it to my outfit. Uh, Nancy, the name of the V-neck striped sweater is Dingley Dell. And we have that linked at our Handspun Hope Bora Sarah Silk. So, uh, I found these hankies when I went to the Atlanta market, which is different than the yarn market. Um, and I went with Ka uh, Carolina, my daughter, and she said, you know, look at those hankies. Those are like yours. She's like, people might like to get those. I was like, I don't know. But we sold out, so now we've got more again. So, let me tell you the different colors. This one here is tickled pink, and you get a set of three in there. This one is Kensington Gardens, and we've also had several people buy them as gifts and then break them up and give one each, but we've also had some gentlemen buy them for uh, not only to have a handkerchief, but also they've used them as pocket squares. This one I think is my favorite. This one is Sangria. Um, this one is Earl Grey. And last but not least, this is strawberry, uh, strawberry fields. I think that last part got cut off. So we've got those different versions of the hankies. I just love having one in my pocket. I kind of have allergies and um, much more ecologically um, sound than tissues that I have everywhere. And uh, plus they're just fun, a little extra, a little bit of color. And you're never gonna knit one of those, right? That's just not gonna work. All right, so we got those. And then, like I said, we got some skirts. Dee sent us some skirts here. So let me just show you a couple of them. This one here is, uh, we're calling Fuzzy Goat. It has uh, some goats and cows and pigs. Here's the, here's the little, here's the little goat on here. And um, so that one is really cute. We have the measurements for all of these online. Oh, let's grab some yarn to go with that. Um, I think, let's see, I think Kenna Kinnick, that green really picks up with that. That would be fun. Um, this one here is Madam Butterfly. And that would look really pretty with, um, I think this one here would go with, are you sure Hank done it that way? Cause it's got some of those blues in there or maybe PBR, or I'm sure we have other ones in our other cabinets over there. I just didn't bring them over with me. So that one is a really fun skirt. Well, they're all really fun. My friend Elizabeth wears these all the time. She calls them boxer shorts for women. Um, but you can go outside, do, you know, they're really cool. This one is a maxi and it has embroidered hibiscus on it. Uh, this one is also a maxi and they're just really fun and they usually don't last long and we get kind of one of a kind. And like I said, sometimes Dee will find more of that fabric and we'll get a little bit more, but not always. 
Also, let me flip a little bit here. We got some other fun pieces. Back up here a second. Uh, well, that's not gonna really work. We've got our giant, this is new. We found this at the Atlanta market too. This is our giant block print tote bag. We've got it with two patterns here. And boy, can you put a lot. We had another giant bag for a while, but they stopped making that. So we were happy to find this. You can put all your projects in there. You can put your Paddington round um, crossbody in there. And they're really great. The straps are long enough that you can dip down into it even while it's on your arm. That's kind of important to me. That's something I like to be able to do. And you can put lots of projects in there, kind of corral them all at once. So I, I was about to say, so that not everybody in your household knows how many you have, but I don't think that you should ever have to apologize for that. Something else that's back in stock is our yak back sack. Oh my gosh, I wish you could feel this. Uh, I'm sorry, yolk back sack, because it's the color of egg yolk. It's a backpack, it's curly. I thought this was just the funnest thing I'd seen. Uh, we got four of them several months ago. They sold immediately and we have been selling them on pre-order ever since. This time I was finally able to order enough to fulfill the pre-orders and have some in the store. So I love these little pom-poms on here. So it's a backpack, it's a backpack, but you can also just kind of throw it over your shoulder with the straps like that and use it. And then I like this, even though it doesn't zip, it has this little bit where the straps go through so that it kind of, you can kind of pull shut a little bit like that. It's uh, by a Tenti, so it's got uh, zippers and pockets in there. And it has these two snaps on either side so you can snap it for a little bit more security when it's on your back or under your arm. Isn't that fun? It's just, I just love how squishy it is. And the feet on the bottom. All right, what else did we get this week? Oh, we, uh, Cheryl brought this sample in. So Cheryl's been knitting new samples for us. And this is the Ikagia Tama Baby Blanket Kit. Look at this. So we have it in this color and we have it in what we're calling Hunter, which is the little flex, the little confetti <laughs> in more muted tones with a, uh, a subtle blue pom-pom on the end. And we've got pom-pom makers re-socked. So this just makes the sweetest heirloom, uh, stroller cover, car seat cover. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. We just all love it. We love the little pink pom-poms on there. Uh, and last but not least, I'm looking around here to see if I've told you all the things. We still have, uh, for a limited time, our Emma's Yarns Hella Hank in our pop-up. So we have some new patterns to show you that you can make with it. So I pulled over some of the ones that we had more than one of, though I do think we only have one of Wish You Were Beer. Hella Hanks have 600 yards in them, and it is superwash merino and cashmere and nylon in there. Yeah. Um, these are from Emma's Yarns down in Winter Haven, and we've been doing really well with our pop-up. Behind me is Laura Dobrat's Forest Shawl, and it takes just one skein, so it would be really pretty in the Wish You Were Beer. Um, but if you wanted to do a two-skein one, this Good People, again, that long rectangular wrap, you could do two colors. And I think this one is really pretty. Lake Totally. And you could do Lake Totally with Wish You Were Beer. Or you could do um, that with Tia Ammo. Those two together would be really pretty. This one here is definitely Melissa's combo. This is Cherry Merlot and Mind Ya Business. Look at those. That would just be a lovely thing to wrap up with that little bit of cashmere in there. This one is the fuzzy goat color. I just love that. We got extra of those, which was a fabulous surprise in our box. And we don't have so many extra anymore because you guys are loving it too, but we still have some. 
And you could um, maybe even put that. Oh, I just showed you mind your business. Oh, I got two mind your business. That's why I was going to pull, pull on that out. Um, this one here is really fun, too. This one is 10 questions. So uh, one like this with all that variation going on in it, I would suggest something like Bright Eyed Becky. It's got um, a, a simple pattern in there with the yarn overs that would still show up but that would make all this uh, color work, oh, holding it upside down, uh, make all that color work still shine too, and they wouldn't fight each other. And just one hank would make Bright-Eyed Becky. And let's see what else I got over here to show you. Melissa got me some patterns. This one here is Long Story Short. That is also just one skein. And you could use uh, Not the Moss of Me to make a, a pretty one skein shawl or the fuzzy goat and then we have some are these all tops then we have some tops to get yeah, two tops to show you this one here is uh rose root look how pretty that is that's really pretty and you would need uh one to two hella hanks because they have so much yardage to make that so you could, and again, that lace up there is really uh, there and at the bottom is really a nice defined pattern. So you could use a, um, a variegated one like Lake Totally and it would still show up. And then last we have Tangent Top and you could make this longer if you like and it is very size inclusive and you could use one to three skeins of the Hella Hanks to make that. So those are all the different patterns, uh, new patterns that we want to show you. I know we were showing you the yarns uh, in a previous week, but we wanted to show you some new ones. And we also have links to even more of Laura Dobrat's patterns like the forest shawl. And of course you could crochet uh, cherries with it also. And we have a link to that pattern there. And those are the things that we got this week. I am so grateful that you guys were watching with us. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. You can text us at 229-236-GOAT and we can help you out with skirt and yarn patterns, pairings. Those are, uh, of course, easier to do when we're open. Um, so if you text us during those hours, we can text you back. Uh, but if you, if, when we're not, you'll just have to wait till we open back up to put them back in, put, put the pairs together. But we love doing that with you putting yarns together, helping you with your patterns. We do it all day long and it's what we get up to, to come to, I'm not even gonna call it work uh, because it's just a joy. Thank you guys and we'll get the links up and look forward to serving you soon.